it was previously mentioned as dub but now the nomenclature aub is more common aub is more common so what is the classical differences as per datta latest edition the currently favored terminology in indian gynecological field is aub or abnormal uterine bleeding any uterine bleeding any uterine bleeding irrespective of the cause if it is not normal so what is normal uterine bleeding during menses volume is 20 to 80 ml duration is 4 to 5 days and it is regular in frequency that is it is seen in 21 to 35 days this is the cycle if it is not following this normal criteria any uterine bleeding outside this is abnormal uterine bleeding then this is the currently favored terminology which is more consistent and systematic and the causes has a very important mnemonic okay we have structural causes and non structural causes of aub structural causes are polyp adenomyosis leiomyoma and m means malignancy this is palm and a coin so you draw a palm like this and put a coin on it so palm in coin classification they call it as palm in palm coin classification p means polyp a means adenomyosis l means leiomyoma m means malignancy non structural causes are coagulopathy ovulatory dysfunction endometrial causes iatrogenic causes and causes which are not yet identified are put in n if you keep on getting more causes then the classification the mnemonic might change right this much is okay this is aub and these are the causes and you have to write how to control it how to control it the controlling part but but dub is it obsolete no we still use dub so where do you use dysfunctional dysfunctional functional that means here we are only concerned with ovulatory function ovulatory function ovulatory function is because of the hormones that means i am only concerned with hormonal imbalances hormonal imbalances hormones means we have hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis right you have gonadotropin releasing hormone here you have fh and lsh here and you have estrogen at the end if there is some something wrong with these things what happens the key step that is ovulation gets affected and ovulation do not occur if there is hormonal imbalances so this anovulation due to hpo axis dysfunction which is endocrine or hormonal in origin there is no organic cause there is no systemic cause there is no iatrogenic cause the cause is purely anovulation due to hpo axis dysfunction it is endocrine in origin then we call it as dub so aub without any clinically so this thing ovulatory dysfunction aub o is actually dub okay because ovulatory function is getting disturbed this is due to unovulation so now i think with this single slide you have a better clarity of what is aub and dub we still use dub in the literature but whenever i say dub i am only targeting the anovulation part okay anovulation part